Every single person will go through menopause. Every single person who has a vagina, I mean, will go through menopause. And one in three, one in four won't really have symptoms per se that they report. But I do think that they could have symptoms that they don't understand. For instance, they might have osteoporosis, they might have dizziness, they might have cardio issues and they don't they don't know. So I will say when people transition from perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause, I do firmly believe that we change some of the things we do. We prioritize rest and get our cortisol under control. We nourish our body with omega-3s, 25 grams of fiber, at least 100 grams of protein. We walk, we lift, and you can supplement. Supplements that are very popular and common in perimenopause would be omega-3s vitamin D3. I think these two things are pretty solid and I would challenge any doctor to say otherwise. Now, some people have a high D level, but it's it's not the norm. And I do recommend that people get their vitamin D checked every three to six months and you might need to ask for it from your primary care doc. Uh, it depends on your genes, how you process D. It has been a real struggle for me for years to figure out how to get my D levels up and to find the right supplement. And I finally found a liquid supplement. So I personally have to take 10,000 D3 with K2 daily to get my numbers to creep up. So supplementing in that regard. But even hormone replacement therapy and hormone therapy don't even give us enough hormones to replace what we had, but there is a transition. We do have to shift. It is not everyone's um, desire to take hormones, which I understand. Um, if you suffer enough and you've, and you've changed enough things and there is nothing left, I find that people will do it. And then when they do it, they say, I wish I would have done it sooner. That is usually the story I hear, but I want everyone to change their diet, their movement patterns, and yes, supplement your diet. But supplementing your diet means your diet also has to have like veggies and protein and not being afraid of fruit. You know, fruit is a friend. Anyway, that's my thought.